After I finished this painting, I had a little over 9 hours of footage. Although I did cut about 30 minutes where I created a brush that I intended to use for the painting that I ended up not really using in the final image. The whole painting felt like it took a lot longer than it should have. I think that was for a few reasons. The first is that I was a bit outside of my comfort zone for this painting. I'm not really comfortable painting interiors. I did find some references for the boxing gym, but they weren't as helpful as I had hoped. Additionally, most of the objects in this painting are things I haven't painted before. So I was a lot more hesitant and kind of noodled around more because I wasn't as confident that I could paint what I was trying to paint. Farther into the painting, it was 3 a.m., I had put all my recorded clips into my video editor, and I realized that I had about seven and a half hours of painting footage, and I didn't feel like I was anywhere near close to finish. Knowing that I had finished larger works like this before in about eight or so hours, I asked myself what it was that I was doing this time that was slowing me down so much. And then I realized that during all those other projects, I had a deadline that I needed to finish the project by, which pushed me to work a little bit more vigorously. When you have X amount of time and not a minute more to work on something, you can't afford to be timid and you kind of have to jump right in. This is when I realized another thing that I was doing, which was that I was trying to think four steps ahead at all times by making sure that I would never have to carefully paint around objects that I had more or less finished painting by keeping them on a separate layer. And I think that when you use layers like that, instead of using them for layer effects or clipping masks, it can actually be detrimental to your workflow. I found that I worked faster when I merged more of my layers together than when I was spending time trying to think about which object should go on which layer and spending time clicking through those layers to find the correct layer. So at around the 7 hour, 30 minute mark, I gave myself a 2 hour deadline. After 2 hours, this painting would be finished. This included finding any reference images or images for photo bashing that I might want to use so I wouldn't be pausing the timer for anything like that. And I found that I completed the painting with 20 minutes and 15 seconds to spare. So I would definitely recommend that if you struggle to finish artwork, that you give yourself a deadline to complete it. And once you hit that, don't touch the artwork anymore or at least go into it with the idea that you won't touch it anymore because I think that during that time that you give yourself, the one or two hours or however long you set your deadline for, you'll work much faster and you'll work more confidently and you won't mess around as much like I was doing. I'd also recommend not using as many layers and to try to keep your painting on one to two layers, at least until the end where you're using different layer modes for shadows, highlights, textures, or whatever. Because I find that, at least for me, they tend to slow things down because they also make it so you have to mentally manage them instead of just focusing on painting. If you enjoyed this video and want to see similar videos, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.